the land to me, it's very unique. I just love southeastern Montana. This is my home and my love for this place is so deep because it's who I am. Maybe you can't see it, but this land is an island in a sea of coal development. It's the Northern Cheyenne Indian Reservation, located in a region that produces 40% of U.S. coal, sending it from coast to coast. It's a place no one really thinks about, but that everyone is impacted by. If you're paying attention to energy and climate change, you need to be paying attention to the Powder River Basin. Billions and billions of tons of coal lie under the ground here. And what happens here will determine how the United States does on its climate policy. Researchers say we have to leave most fossil fuels in the ground if we're going to limit climate change to two degrees Celsius. That's when droughts get supercharged and some low-lying countries may actually disappear. The scale of change that's needed is staggering. For natural gas and oil, sure, but especially for coal. In the United States, 95% of coal must be left unburned. It's a message many indigenous people here have taken to heart. Our land is an extension of our home. We have to protect it for our children and grandchildren and future generations that are yet to come. But taking a stand against fossil fuels has come with a price for the Northern Cheyenne. And some tribal members want to see their resources extracted for profit. We have 80% unemployment. And every day we see, I see, the poverty, the desperation. I believe coal will give people work. And I don't see anything else happening. It's funny because the industry always says coal provides cheap energy. Go to the reservation and you see that people are spending $600 to $700 a month on their bills in the winter. That's not cheap. So as we're saying no to these new coal mines, we need to be moving forward with the renewables and making sure people know that there's alternatives. This is the room we stay in. There's four of us in here. We put blankets on the windows. We just all cover up because it gets pretty chilly in here at night. In spite of that, you were telling me that you're not in favor of developing coal here. There's some people who say that would create jobs. Yeah, a lot of people say that, but it is beautiful out here and I don't want to see it ruined. To me, I think that's more important than all the money. So you know, future-wise, my kids would have a place to call home. Our tribe is really struggling. Yes, we need jobs. Yes, we need a sustainable economy, but not at the price of our homelands. There's a, a better way, and it's going to take some education. It's going to take some work, but in the long run, it's going to be better. Vanessa Braided Hair is trying to lead a revolution away from coal and towards cleaner energy. The Northern Cheyenne shouldn't have to fight this on their own, and they shouldn't have to choose between jobs and clean energy. They need our support. They need world leaders to send clear signals that coal is dangerous and costly and that we're investing in a cleaner future. I love it here. My ancestors loved it too. And so that deep love that they have, I carry it too. And I think that's worth fighting for. <laughs>